I'm kind of having a lazy day, but I did feel like taking a walk and getting out. So I got in the car and beat traffic up to Old Glory here. It's kind of a weird day. I'm not like in a buying mood, so I'm not sure what's gonna come of this, but I thought I'd bring my camera just in case, cause you never know what you're gonna find when you're out. but I'm really into these pieces of glass. Fostoria. I, th I think it's the fact that they're such contrasting colors. Um, the price is so I can't do anything with it for resale, but it's really visually appealing to me. I was just kind of in the mood to, what is that? What in the, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what <laughs> this is so weird oh my gosh hold on i have to take a picture of this and send it to my group chat because it's amazing so at 25 dollars, i don't think i can really do much with this for resale uh, i bought like a puppet similar oh my gosh it's hair this is so <laughs> cool um I bought a puppet kind of like this in this booth before, and honestly, it didn't sell. This one's Italian. I think I guess the other one is too. It's very similar. This is just so freaking weird. I'm really tempted to get it, but uh, I'm not at that price. I'm not really willing to uh, risk that. Wow, this is really nice too. This booth has definitely restocked since I've been here last. They always have such neat stuff. Oh my gosh, look at these swizzle sticks. Also, here's one of those uh, Dolly Grams. Western Union, $20 is definitely a little bit pricey, but I think these things are so cute and happy. Uh, also, these appliance covers are pretty great. 45 though, that's pretty pricey. Um, and they might get flagged. There's like so many rules about Americana stuff these days. Oh my gosh, this owl bank is kind of cool too. It's got that matte, I mean that pearlized finish that I like so much, $10. That's kind of cool. Is there a discount in here? No, it's a little bit. Oh, wait, stop. There's so much cool stuff in here today. What is this? Look at this thing. What a unique trinket, $15. This is very cool. Well, with further inspection, this does have a little too much damage to uh, justify 15. It's very cool though. I love her expression on her face. The other thing that kind of interested me here was this, like a pink depression glass knife. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? Huh. And I really like this box purse. Very cool. $55 is definitely retail, though. Looks like it might even be fake light on the top. Oh my gosh, I'm having a hard time. Let me let me just leave that as is. This is freaking cool, too. I've never seen one quite like that. That's really interesting. It's like, um, it's like a wallpaper, almost. And, of course... This shelf definitely uh, caught my attention, especially with the little Polish doll and the super cute real fur rubber face monkey. This one's made in Japan. I think it's the marionette version. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like he's got some damage and I've bought ones like this in the past and they've taken a while to sell. Now, what did catch my attention though was this super cute little vintage giraffe in its original packaging. How much is this? 15, well, that's definitely gonna be retail on that. I don't even wanna Google it because I kind of feel like it's uh, close. And especially because it's Taiwan, not Japan. It's on the newer side. Well, this booth is definitely my favorite. I always find really unique, good deals here. Love the cat. Look at this clock. I mean, Sunbeam, mid-century. $29. I wonder if that works. It says works. I believe it too. This is very cool. Huh. 
let's see what else they got looks like they recently restocked the last couple times i was here i got kind of discouraged because i felt like i was like fighting people <laughs> i got here at the same time as a couple people else oh my gosh look at this is this napco 650 well that's adorable i'm gonna get that and uh this is a really funny little um what about this cat with the yarn it's got a little paint loss on that even though it's um not one i've seen before now these are definitely unique japan little raccoons <laughs> that is so funny for three dollars and fifty cents i'm gonna grab these two for sure oh my gosh wait i just got so lucky let me put this stuff down first of all this norcrest is it brins excuse me fuzzy ceramic cat now some people list these for crazy amounts they don't sell for that that much but definitely at nine dollars and fifty cents i would probably be i mean i'd probably be able to sell it for like 36 so um i also noticed the little fuzzy guy this guy's pretty cute for three dollars and fifty cents i'm definitely gonna grab that too he's missing his partners but look at this gum cat this thing is epic i've seen these a bunch but i've never seen one with this finish and the rhinestone eyes so i'm gonna grab that as well the other thing you know i love is this daisy vase i've had one before it's uh, i believe 70s or 80s i can't remember very cool and keep on going oh my gosh i wish they had baskets here this one's brins japan too nine dollars and fifty cents i'm gonna grab that and i'm just gonna grab all of it aren't i there's this cat coasters all right let me let me come back all right i really made myself at home wait till you see what i grabbed over there in the meantime i'm kind of cleaning up the rest of these planters uh this little cat for six dollars and fifty cents i'm gonna grab but most exciting, yes, I see this one. There are these ones that I believe are used to go $6.50. Wow, I've never even seen these ones before. How fantastic. I am definitely gonna grab both of them. I'm just creating a little pile here. Man, I really am <laughs> hitting the jackpot today. I'm so glad I came out. Look at this, this is a... Uh, American Biscuit, I think. Yes, American Biscuit says it right there. Hello. $20. I've never seen the basket of kittens, I don't think. Um, I might look that up. Oh my gosh, I left this over here. I just really uh, made myself at home. Now, here's what I was looking at that I kind of just <clears throat> shoved all my stuff in. I was looking at these pots. They're $12.00 and 50 cents each i am gonna look them up this is something i normally don't buy but i kind of love the pattern on them um there's that one too look at this freaking table also this uh, trivet with the rooster on it that's pretty fun and this one is marked japan yeah i don't even want to wait and risk missing something um i'm just gonna grab them i have this whole pile I'm starting to get a little territorial over here. <laughs> All right, now I'm also looking at this napkin holder. This one's only $6.50 and it's double-sided. That's kind of fun. I think I'm gonna put that in my pile as well. I haven't even gone over to the other side of the booth. I'm starting to get kind of crazy-eyed. Um, I do really wish they had some type of uh, basket. This is really cool. I feel like I recognize this and I'm gonna have to look it up again. I really hope no one else comes in here. That's kind of the thing. Since they don't have baskets, I get nervous that someone's gonna come in and I don't wanna waste time bringing stuff up. That's how crazy I am right now. Look at how cute this is. $6.50, that's a, there's still a lot of room for that. There's still some room for that. I can't even talk straight. I think it's to the point where it's clear. Look at all this fabric. Oh my gosh. Um, I got to start bringing this stuff up. I'm getting a little nutty. Okay, but also I'm just now seeing this freaking clock. Oh, but wait, there's so much more. So I really am doing a lot more than I had anticipated. Oh my gosh, look at these cat prints. So I stopped taking things up to the front just because 
I wasn't expecting to spend a bunch of money and buy a bunch of stuff. Like I told you before, I wasn't in the bu buying mood. Oh my gosh, this dress is absolutely to die for. This blue one, oh my gosh. Um, okay, but this is just so, such a find. As you can see, I have a lot going on. Now, I'm also noticing this little cat box, which is only $3.50. You know I'm a sucker for the fuzzy ceramic, so I'm gonna grab that too. Uh, the little ones with the rhinestone eyes I've had before. I'm not really sure why these ones are $5.50. Um, definitely still like a very good price but there's just so many other things that are less expensive. Like these are really amazing. These are $7.50 each for these two. I'm gonna grab those because these are really hard to find, especially in this good condition and anywhere even remotely close to this price. Um, these are coming with me. Wow, I have like really, I really wasn't expecting to do this today. And then these ones have a little bit of damage, but they're only $4.50 and they're still pretty cool. I kind of like the fact that they have some wear. It's a different look, um, even with the discoloration in those spots, I still say they're in pretty great condition, especially considering that price. I mean, normally these are like really falling apart. I'm gonna grab these two. I have really made a huge mess. Look at how cool this light is. Uh, I have spent <laughs> a lot more money than I had anticipated. So I'm going to just do like a quick little walk around to calm down because I haven't even hit this booth, which is another one of my favorites and looks like they have a bunch of new stuff. Oh my gosh. Look at this fun. What is this? A recipe box? That is so fun. This is another booth that I always find a bunch of stuff I really like in. Wow, look at this bracelet. That is very cool. Huh. Um, these are neat too. Vintage red braided bangle. Very cool. Uh, let me not get sidetracked on bracelets and bangles that I don't need that I'll probably end up keeping. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, they have really been working hard over here at Old Glory, let me tell you, because almost everything is different than it was the last time I was here, which actually wasn't that long ago. And the colors and displays and everything are really, really appealing. Like, I am looking kind of all over the place and kind of got crazy eye right now. But alas, there's more. I am obsessed with these greeting cards, especially this little Miss Muffet one. Um, I've kind of cheated. I already looked at a few because I kind of did the Gatsby thing when I saw him. Unfortunately, at $9, that's about what I would get for this after fees. Oh my gosh, they're just in such good condition that it's kind of hard to resist. And this one's like $8. Oh my gosh, I'm like practically drooling on them. Let me stop. Also, the Valentine's Day hanky, we love heart print everything, and it's only $3.50. So you know I'm grabbing this, which is this little red riding hood. Stop, look at how cute. $9. Again, I've seen these listed for crazy amounts because of the condition. I think that the price she's asking is insanely cheap, um, just because I would, I mean, even though the average price is like around probably $13 for one of these in this good condition. I kind of feel like, oh my gosh, look at the back of this. God, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I just want them, but I don't need them. Um, it's a little too close for me. So I've gotten so much stuff. I still have this huge pile with my keys over here. I've kind of marked my territory see what else I can find I just I really I mean I told you guys outside I wasn't even gonna bring my camera in I was just kind of looking to get out of the house for a little bit oh my gosh look at this cutie oh $49 okay just kidding now this booth is completely different than the last time I was here too look at how nice this is oh my gosh I love this pink hat all right let's um Let's take a better look. You know I'm looking for the heart prints and such. 
I'm not seeing any. But it, I mean, the way it's displayed is epic. What is this? This is very cool. These placemats are pink pillowcase with flowers. Those are very cool. All right, so I've kind of gone through everything I've picked up so far. This blender is adorable, but I don't know how I didn't notice. It's like really, really damaged. So I'm gonna put this one back, unfortunately. The other thing I'm gonna put back are these pots. Now, I do know they're worth more than $12.50. However, the fact that they're missing their lids isn't making me too crazy about them at that price, especially because I'm buying so much. I know it's kind of silly to leave here, but I'm just really not trying to uh, spend more than like $150 and I've got quite the pile already. Look at this. Oh, this got me last time. This freaking lamp is so cool. Oh, this got me last time too. It's like really, really broken. Otherwise I would get that. But also I'm just now seeing these bloomers. Oh my gosh, how fun. Oh wow, those are really fantastic. 60s ruffled bloomies. Oh, those are so fun. I wonder if I could, I wonder if people would actually buy these. I think they're pretty great. I feel like they're collectible and unique. Um, I might look them up on eBay just because they're weird and they're wonderful. Okay, yeah, the prices are kind of all over the place crazy for these. I'm gonna grab them. They're just so weird. Uh, and the fact that they've got those ruffles, we love. We love ruffles and weird. I almost forgot to look at these guys again. $6.50 each is super cheap. These usually sell pretty quick. And how much was this one? $6.50. I'm so tempted to just get everything. Maybe, um, maybe I'll just get some and then come back another time because I just am kind of feeling a little shopped out. Honestly, this guy is so freaking cute, but you know, there's a lot of chipping going on here that I didn't really see at first, but I think we're gonna get it anyway. It's pretty minor. So I just can't seem to get out of here. I was walking past the clothing booth. Uh, I didn't want to stop there because there were people looking and I saw this random vintage members only jacket, which is only $9.50. So I'm gonna try that on. I might sell it if it doesn't fit right because um, I might buy it for resale just because members only is pretty collectible and it's in really good shape, especially at that price. I love this bag. Now, this was the other thing I was really into. This is very cool. The Stingray Ping Pinball Playfield. That is very neat. And of course, you know, I love these purple chairs. I mean, all the colors that are going on here are really appealing. And the owl mug, I love that. It's only $7 too. I've actually had one of those not that long ago though. Um, also like, wow, <laughs> this is hilarious. I'm not gonna touch it because it's paper and $75, but yeah, I'm just like really into everything that's going on in Old Glory today, you guys. It's kind of funny because I came here because I wanted to walk around and I haven't really done much walking. I've just kind of stood around and looked at stuff. So I just kind of put my camera down and started actually walking when I saw this thing. I am absolutely in love with it. I don't need it. It's $120 plus 20 or some off, so it's like 100 bucks. It is so stinking cool. Man, they are killing it today. Especially with them. Um, love the yellow for mica and this vanity set is so pretty too okay but also look at this freaking hanging swag lamp oh my gosh this thing is amazing two hundred dollars i wonder if it works man that thing is so epic oh i need to get out of here and of course i'm just now seeing this horner's tin which is definitely on the harder to find side it's only ten dollars i absolutely adore these i've had the chick one a few times recently i also 
was lucky enough to find the cat good luck cat one not that long ago it sold instantly for 25 so i've never had the bunny one actually i think i've only seen him and it's always been too pricey for me to try my hand at him so for ten dollars i think i'm gonna go ahead and pick this up too what fun i love chatting with them i love going there i don't know why i don't go there more often i go there a lot but not as often as i should I only spent $115 there. I picked up a couple extra things. I put a couple extra things down. I went back and forth. It was cheap. The radio was awesome, but there was a few posted online. And I was like, I only want to get get it if it's the only one. You know how I am. I can be hard-headed sometimes. But I got some really unique stuff for $115. I think I lucked out. And now I'm just going to head back home and call it a day.